We've come to stay for just two days amongst Stamford's younger charms, because three daughters want us to help surprise their mum and dad with a new garden at the house that they all grew up in. Oh, hello. hello! Six times round the estate. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Who's who? Well, I'm Debbie. Debbie, Julie, right, Karen. Karen. Right, Debbie, Julie, Karen. We're the three daughters. Three daughters. Yeah. And us are the halves, Andy, Andy and Don. And the garden is this way. Oh, so it's the back garden we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot to do. This is it. Oh, the lawn looks good. Wow. Well, all we have to do here is actually cut the grass, sweep the path, and we can go. Uh, a little bit more than that. <laughs> the top designer is? Oh, we're sort of, sort of all three of us. Oh, three. I drew it. <laughs> you don't want much, do you? Have you seen all this, Tommy? Yeah. Look at that. Two pages of it. You want deck? You want to move the shed, move the compost bins, extend the lawn, raise the flower beds, build a rockery, um, plant up lots of containers and put a water feature in. That's and move that the conifers. Right? <laughs> oh, and remove the conifers. <laughs> Uh, well, we have news for you then, because... Don't hide behind me, Tommy! <laughs> I'm just taking a different angle of it, really. What we can do is we can trim them back a bit. Maybe trim them down a bit. Okay. But it's too major a job to actually take them all out. Okay. Have I convinced you? Yes, OK. Good. That wasn't too bad then. <laughs> <laughs> now, you did say that because of the grandchildren that you want to keep the lawn. Yes. Some area, you have to... They yeah. like their lawn, don't yeah. they? So what we thought we'd do is extend the lawn. Because okay. this area here is not overly pretty, is it? Mm. No. Now, what's this, Tommy? These pavings? There's some set of special paving you've got. Yeah, well, because it's a relatively new house, we're going to use clay paviors on here. And we're going to put uh, a different colour band around the edge, so it'll give it a contrast. And that'll be a hard area, and that'll be lower than this. This is going to be a deck, but not a normal deck. This is going to be a real chunky one out of big pieces of timber. OK. Yep. And then the pergola will be planted on one of those two hard surfaces, either be over the deck or over Gazebo the paving. Gazebo for people that aren't quite up with pergola. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be really good. We've got Andy, Andy, Don, Julie. Julia. Julie, Julie. Julie. <laughs> Karen, Karen, <laughs> Grace, and Oliver. And Oliver. Oliver. So if we all work very hard, we might get it all done. Yes, we, will. we will. Now, what <laughs> have we done with Mum and Dad? Um, Mum and Dad have gone to Edinburgh. It was Dad's 60th birthday in May, so we bought him a present and sent him up to Edinburgh for his birthday. Before they went, our spoof crew asked them about Debbie working at Camp America for a programme about daughters leaving home. Well, we missed her. We missed because, um, you know, the house, once your children have left, and she's the youngest of the three daughters we've got, um, we just had missed her being around. But as parents, we've ne if she's wanted to do something like the other girls, we've never really stood in her way, as long as we felt that she was safe, you know. If Debbie made up her mind to do something anyway, she would do it. <laughs> And just one last question. How did you feel um, when she got back? Relieved. <laughs> and relieved is just how I shall feel if we ever get this garden done before Janet and Roger get back. <laughs> back to work! Come on. <laughs> but before we can start, we've got to deal with the deliveries. To wake us up, so to speak, a few sleepers for the bottom of the garden. You let go, I'll be all right. Our main focus is the difficult bit under the trees. So Kirsty and I are clearing the bits of Mum and Dad's garden that are in the way. Your tea's got some foreign bodies in it. Ah, okay. oh, yuck! Sorry. Thank you, Kirsty. <laughs> I'd love to have one of these, but I'm not allowed to. No. They're okay. Ah, uh, see, that's how you do it. 
Or jam tart, they're better. No, I, I can't yeah. eat any of them, I'm afraid. I hear you haven't eaten these for a few years. Well, one year. One year? Yes. How, how much did you lose? <laughs> Five stone. <laughs> How much did you lose? Five stone. Five stone. In a year? Yeah. Well done. Do you eat them as well now? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, I can't believe this. <laughs> so how long have they lived here? Um, about 36 years, yeah, 36 years, yeah. Um, and this used to be, when we played here in the garden, Dad made this swing for us and we used to swing here. So you've all grown up here? Yes. Yeah. And I was born here. Were you? In the house. Yes. In that bedroom up there. <laughs> I want you to pick these up now. You're not going to keep them, OK? Yeah. No and take this take this up, demolish this. Actually, work. I prefer the painting, but... You prefer <laughs> the painting? <laughs> the problem with conifers like this, Leilandi, is you cannot cut back into this dead wood. If you cut back into it, it's not going to shoot, so these won't shoot again. But what I'm trying to do is make them look a bit more sort of like a sculpture. And as you can see, by clearing these trunks up, they actually look quite attractive, and you've not got the half dead and half alive that you can see there. Whoa, with this thing now, come on. Commando man's arrived. He's <laughs> <laughs> on his ground for that's army. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, I declare war on these slabs. I thought with all that kit on, you was going to lift it himself. Okay. Just, you start where you can start, at your height, and I'm going to start at the top, yeah? <laughs> Curse, those panels are six foot. Yep. I'm going to have to go further, aren't I? Yeah, 18, three sixes, 18. It goes from the corner of... From the deck. Ah, uh, we don't do decks. New program. No deck, no blue paint. OK. We do platforms and mellow stone. <laughs> platforms were a fashion phase of the 70s. Did you used to wear them? You uh, must have been about that high. I wouldn't be <laughs> uh, dancing like this. <laughs> well, I did have a pair once. <laughs> and I wore them once. And I've never worn them since. And I don't work in them. <laughs> Only at weekends. Did you used to wear platforms? Well? Oh, before my time, Charlie. <laughs> Debbie, this is not where your cat's buried, is it? Yeah, you're not digging him up, are you? Yeah, there's a bell on it. Oh, don't be no. careful. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy's nest. Aww. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, that's Grace? Grace? Let's see if I can knock that. Yeah. What do you think that is? Air feathers. <laughs> careful, because it's very delicate. Yeah, they need to be careful. They don't really and before you start sending in loads and loads of uh, letters about the bird's nest, it is the beginning of September, so they're well gone. High time we've got the pad set to support the deck's, sorry, platform's beams on. It's midday. Now the pergola has come as a kit, and in the brochure it looks very straightforward. It's all pre-cut and the roof just slots together. Even a girl can do it. Watch it. Unfortunately, you still have to dig the holes for the posts. And the ground is like iron under those trees. God, it's great to have you lads here, you know that? If you weren't here, you know, I'd have to do all this on my yeah, own. Yeah, it'd be your oh. job, wouldn't it? I would. <laughs> Short straw. Seven minutes past two on day one. We've constructed the roof of the pergola. Now, the guys are actually digging holes to anchor the posts. And then we've got to lay a wet bed and about 25 metres of paving. All before the end of the day, so it's gone off for tomorrow. Excuse me, I'm busy. Tommy, is this one all right? I've done one. Perfect. Why do they put the dimples on? Because they're really annoying. They're spacers. All oh, right. So that allows them to be spaced perfectly evenly all the way round. You see these little oh, spaces? Oh, OK. So when you lay them, you've got equal joints. Oh, you don't fall down the holes. Be careful. 
It's the moment of truth. Are the holes in the right place? The roof's a guide for getting the posts in exactly the right position. If all the posts are perpendicular and aligned with the roof on the ground, then when we move it to the top, it'll fit perfectly. Accuracy at this stage is critical, but I've long since given up expecting anyone with a horticultural bent to be remotely interested in the finer points of construction techniques. Now that is spot on. Spot on. <laughs> now you've got to remember that I've leveled this right the way around. Okay, okay. Just go and have a look at that. Spot on. I didn't expect anything. What a shame he didn't check the roof's final position before he started. It won't go in. Can you wiggle it? <laughs> Another branch, silly. <laughs> gotcha. So I can see from back here what's going to come missing. Okay. Good on. Yeah, look. Ready? Yep. OK, so that's just the whole of the tree moving then. Well, I don't really see what the problem is. Why can't you just cut out a section from the pergola? Oh, yes. <laughs> like make, it, make it more difficult with the building department so the horticultural section doesn't have to cut that big branch out. We can them. do. We could do. What we could do... Oh, uh, here we go. Tommy's going to suggest now it would be a really good idea to cut a section out of the pergola roof. Well, I had an inspirational bit of conversation just now because <laughs> I heard someone <laughs> talk to me that we could actually cut a piece of it out slot it in and have it growing through so it could be like a, a living piece of architecture. <laughs> oh, a piece of living architecture? Yes. Because it's suddenly become hard landscaping now rather than horticultural. No, it's no it's longer hard merge landscaping. together, merge. horticulture and hard landscaping. The fusion. <laughs> what is she on? I don't know. Thank you, darling. <laughs> But guess what? Tommy's just starting his paving. <laughs> Willie really likes working late. Right then, chaps, I'm going, so I shall see you all tomorrow. Okay. What's, what's the time then? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? Bye-bye. And it's bye-bye time. Yeah. Bed time, yeah? yeah? We're tired. Can I come? <laughs> I want one good bed now. I'll carry on laying paving there. Yeah. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> OK, bye. Good time for some, anyway. Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! bye. 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 <laughs> That's a very technical bit of equipment. My dad taught me for many years how to lay paving. And this is all you really need. Once you've got it set out, you just need a little piece of timber, just a short length. And if you've got a nice, semi-dry mix like this, just run that over and level it and it gives you the flat surface. And now you watch, these will all just plop into place. Perfectly spot on. My reputation hangs on this. Right, Kirsty. Come on, Tommy, we're for God's sake, let's go home. <laughs> see the time it is. You, you can't possibly see what you're doing now. All right, all right, let's go. You've done very well today. Bye. Bye. Let's have a shower and go out for something for dinner. Stanford, good place to have a nice ride. Excellent, yeah. really good. Good restaurants? good restaurants? Lots of good them. Pubs. Lots of choice. Bye. Yeah. Fantastic. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Who's paying tonight, Bye. though? That's Bye. Bye. You're getting so like Alan. What do you mean, like Alan? Well, like Alan in you share urbane sophistication. Hey. Eh? You're both well-travelled, able to appreciate the ancient charm of a place like Stanford. Oh, that's pretty. I've been here before, you know. Yeah? Yep, Stanford Bridge. Oh, God. Well, perhaps not. Willie's desperate. Desperate? He's desperate. He's starving as well, Willie. You know, what do you, you know, what are you fish and chips? Fed. Fish and chips? No, no. no. Thai? Thai? No. Uh, Italian? We have to be very careful because I have to pick something that's not too fattening, you know. Well, I Thai. think you should just keep walking and just, it will meet you afterwards. Yeah, keep exercising. So, bye, Tommy. Morning. 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 Morning.
ready to go. Yeah. Lots to do. And boys and girls, first job, post hole digging. Done. Don't no, think so. <laughs> <laughs> Done enough of that yesterday, actually. It could last me a lifetime. Chris, what are you doing? What have you got on? You look great. You look like Biggles. <laughs> Did you talk to your mum last night? I did. I called her. She went on a, a trip around Edinburgh, so she was good, happy about that. Uh-huh. What time is she coming back? Um, her flight lands at 4 o'clock, and it takes about probably... Well, it depends on traffic. It could take anything from an hour and a half to two and a half hours to get back, I suppose. Charlie, is this OK? Ah, do you want to dump it in there? Let's do so. That's fantastic. That'll be great. Well done. What's Thank you very there? much. Yeah. What's this one here? This is Formium Yellow Wave. Easy to kill. <laughs> very, very easy to look after and looks great in pots. It's got great shape, great form, evergreen. So it um, should brighten up the deck all year round. Excellent. And you've got lots of little grasses and agapanthus over there. It should be quite nice. It's exotic South African plant. This is the enormous Yormus. Great autumn colour. And then you've also got these wonderful berries or seed pods that are pink on the outside and bright red seeds on the inside. And they're quite unusual in that the stems are fairly attractive because they've got like these cork wings. That's better, huh? Yeah. 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 That's good. But let me just move it over. We can get the position right. Right, so there's going to be one hole there. Yep. And one hole at the one end hole. of it. Yep. I would say that. This one would be the tougher hole. Don. Go a hole for Don. you. Don. I don't think so. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Doing something more technical, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the pleasure of ground forcing. The clock gently advancing, each sweep of the second hand adding just a little more pressure. The camaraderie, the workers collective marching on to revolutionize the garden. <laughs> Confucius say, Andy, never dig hole near a tree. Actually, guys, Confucius say, get other people to dig holes near a tree. <laughs> That's true. Don! One of the worst areas to plant is dry shade. Now, the best you can do is dig in lots and lots of organic matter and for the first year or so, water the plants well so they get established. Now, once they're established, keep top dressing with lots of muck and you'll find that they'll do all right. And this Viburnum Davidii will be ideal here. Tent the two on day two. That's all the paving done. Now all we've got to do is the pergola and the deck. That's all you've got to do, Tommy. We've a new lawn to lay, the water feature, and all the planting to do around your as yet unfinished bits. It's beautiful. Do you like it? Mm. Do you think your uh, gran and grandpa like it? Yeah. Excellent. Very pretty. This is a new pebble pool kit and it's quite good because the grid is really strong. So it makes it even safer for children. They could walk on it and it wouldn't fall through. Tommy? Yes. Is it all right if I go and get changed because I'm going to pick up the two surprisees from the airport? What, mother and father-in-law? Mother and father. Make sure you don't give anything away, though. I'll speak Drive to you. careful. I will. Speak to you later. OK, then, Don, stop drinking all that tea. Let's test your electrics with water. Yes, boss. <laughs> right. Wicked. Charlie, we've got two hours to go. Our problem is, Tommy, is that we can't plant there until you finish your deck. The fixings for the deck haven't turned up. 
but the suppliers have promised me that they'll arrive by 3 p.m. today. So you can twiddle around and take your time doing the deck, and then Kirsty and I have got to work like stink to get the plants in. We could all be working like stink by the end of today. Well, there's a surprise. Tommy's living architecture pergola is looking close to completion. Then. I'll get this up, fence up, and then I'll do the door. Oh. <laughs> Not all right. I feel like time's running out. It's pretty quick. Well, that's because it is. <laughs> Hello. Hi, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm at the airport. They landed at five to four, so they should be out in the next sort of, 20 minutes or so. Right. Um, there was quite heavy traffic around Cambridge going northbound, so I think whatever time I've sort of made the journey, it's probably going to be another 15 to 20 minutes. Right. We should be sort of back in Stamford sort of six o'clock. Six o'clock. All right then, Twitter. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Charlie! Charlie, the fixings arrived. No. Willie and I will just have to press on and get all the holes ready drilled for when they do come. Tommy, we're getting closer. <laughs> What's happened to your boots, Andy? Seen better days, though, so. <laughs> Bit like Willie's drill. Unfortunately, it needs an electronics expert. Lucky we've got one then, isn't it? <laughs> you didn't hit it hard enough. You didn't hit it hard enough. <laughs> Moving on, Don's found something really useful to do. He and Karen are always full of surprises. Dug for me. You <laughs> dare. Get away from that hole. What's that doing up here? <laughs> Chuck it out of the way, Will. Andy, can you give me some more of these beams, please? It's been a long two days, I tell you. No fixings, guys. They said they came here at 12 o'clock and there was nobody here. There's been at least 25 people out there I've since 9 o'clock this morning. They'll be here on Monday. Oh, next week. Oh, that'll be handy. No. Look at this, Tom. <laughs> Shouting and roaring at us all day. Look at him now. Half an hour to go. So can we plant there? Where? There. Yeah. Yeah, you may as well. We're not doing anything else. <laughs> hello? Hi, Mum, it's Julie. Oh, hello. All right? Yes, fine, thank you. Run away back. Good, did you have a nice time? Excellent, excellent. We've been filling in Andrew about all oh, what we're doing, and I think we've stopped talking yet. Oh, good. And what's the traffic like now, then? Whereabouts are you? Uh, whereabouts are we, Andrew? About oh. half an hour. Well, I'll see you all about six o'clock then. Lovely. Yeah? Yeah, great. OK, okay then, see you later. Uh, bye. OK, bye, Mum, bye. Bye. <laughs> right, they're going to be back up there at Huntingdon, so they really oh. will be here, sort of. Six. Six on the dot. two, dull. probably. we better get Which going gives then. you 20 minutes, chap. Right then. <laughs> Someone. Give me the screw gun. There's a crack. I'm nearly done. <laughs> Kirsty, hold on. No, just hide. Where are we hiding? Where are we hiding? Down there, down there, down there, quick. Here? Yeah, yeah and you'll get right down, right down, because you can see right through the window. Watch your head on the window, it's open. <laughs> 
finished it. Tested, but tired old garden. To refreshed, renewed and revolutionised new one. Now to the tune of the pebble pool, mum and dad can enjoy the sunshine. Surrounded by healthy plants in newly dug beds, richly revitalised with fresh topsoil and plenty of organic goodness. With neatly edged paviors and a really chunky deck, the hardest bit of the old garden to tend has become a whole new area to relax in. A real outdoor room that's just perfect for a quiet drink on a warm summer evening, especially when the family are around. And you're a carpenter, I believe? Yeah, but I, I do enough work without doing any more. <laughs> I must admit, we did come very close to the wire, <laughs> and I thought that this may have been a Stamford Bridge too far. <laughs> But we really hope that you enjoy the garden. Yeah. So from me, Charlie, Willie and Kirsty, and all your extended family. And the mass, mass family. <laughs> Till the next time. Cheers! Cheers! Do you remember um, a little video you did about Camp America? Au Pair America. Yes. Do you recognise her? Do you recognise her? Oh! Ha, 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 ha!